Larry Maxwell. Okay, and you paid their fine today. Yes, I did. $50 a piece. Fortunately, there were only three of them, because it only took three of them to get me back to normal. That and is no money. Um, and why did you do that? Why that? Because I wanted to do something to support them. I mean, they went through quite a bit over this demonstration and what the police did to them. They had the courage of their convictions to stand up and have, demand their day in court. Uh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> let's go. You said that you were in the Navy. I was in the Navy, Vietnam veteran. Did a couple of tours. We took a couple of cruises off the coast of Vietnam. This is back in the early 70s. I promised myself that the next time this country got lied into a war, that I was going to do things a bit different than the way I did them at that time. So I'm old. I'm retired. I don't have to worry about my Republican boss because I don't have a boss. So I come up here and I do this stuff. I'm not nearly as loud as I should be. On the other hand, I'm not nearly as silent as I could be. Once our government lying about and covering up the 9-11 attacks, I began fighting for truth, accountability, and justice for what happened that day. My efforts for the past eight years have been on behalf of the people that lost someone that day and for the 9-11 first responders that needed health care because of the toxic dust down at Ground Zero. The United States government has used the 9-11 attacks as an excuse to launch illegal, preemptive wars and to take away our civil liberties. The resulting bankrupting of this country is unacceptable to me, and I felt it was my duty as a citizen to help expose the cover-up. Ultimately, that fight led me to be in Washington, D.C. on March 20th. It greatly saddens me that I was arrested and will have to stand trial for such a trivial crime. I was under the impression that Americans have the right to peaceably assemble. Paradoxically, crossing a police line is treated as a crime but our leaders are not held accountable for their much more serious crimes of murder and genocide. It is also quite tragic to me that Cindy Sheehan, a mother of a killed soldier, has to stand trial because she believes in ending the illegal and unjust occupations that led to her son's death. Thank you. You glad you were acquitted? Sure, absolutely am. It's a win for uh, peace activists everywhere. Planes hit in New York City, and thousands now are dead. It was Arab terrorists, this is what you said. Well, if that is the truth, then what have you got to hide? And what were you doing on the day all those people died? Where the f were the fighter jets ordered by the FAA? What is your explanation for what you were heard to say when you told the Air Force to stand down, not to intercept? Did you plan to let it happen, or are you just inept? There's some distressing information, sir, which I think should be explained. Just which things have been lost, and just what has been gained. Like the thousands of put options, bought days before the crash. If the money were collected, it'd make quite a pretty stash. And the only stocks they bought were American and United. Deutsche Bank knows the answer, but the names have not been cited. And is it just coincidence that this firm in the private sector was once run by Buzzy Krongard, now CIA director? wonder as the flames are rising higher was this our latest Lusitania 